Welcome back, folks, to World of Warships Legends. I'm Super Dave, and today we have the build and play guide on uh, the Blazing Dread. Sharn Horse will also be coming out, too, um, but I have, do have to edit these. So, uh, if you're looking for that one as well. Blazing Dread, really quick for you guys wondering, it's in the shop for a kajillion of whatever that new currency is. I think it's 15,000. Uh, it is a Suzu, you guys, okay? So, really quick, the only biggest difference about this, we'll take a gander here quick as you can look at my stats on this. 2,800 and 15% fire chance on a Blazing Dread. The biggest difference is the 2,400 and 19% fire chance. This thing absolutely starts fires ridiculous. We'll talk more about it in a second. You're going to want to use whatever commander you use on Japanese normal or cruisers uh i have a 10 cd so girl but Yam yamato if you're free to play absolutely great for this ship too uh nikolai kuzganov and mambelli are inspirations beyond range igniter hellfire fixated now I use Sagiro for all my Japanese battleships, including the light cruisers, which this is actually, but the light cruiser tech tree line as well. I actually use refill station. You could run fully packed to get an extra smoke. Yes, this does have a smoke. Uh, not a very good smoke. We'll get into that here in a second. I prefer just having the reload. Let's go ahead and take a look at our upgrades. This is completely up to play style, especially in this ship. Turrets are really slow in this thing, so you could go with the turret traverse. I like the aiming systems. The reason is, is I still use AP sometimes, even though in this ship you're going to be using HE all the time, or most of the time, I should say. It's nice to have that accuracy. Also, this is a light cruiser, so getting uh, good shots on superstructure also helps with your damage, as the HE damage is a little bit lower than Suzuki, obviously. Propulsion mod in slot 2. And concealment, as always, in mod, mod slot 3 and in slot 4. Again, this is up to you. I prefer the reload time versus the range and dispersion. It has significantly good range on this. There's no, to me, no reason, but the dispersion probably would be nice. Uh, it does have a, two a very average sonars. And it does have smokes. Now, if you're fully packed, you get three of all these. But uh, just keep in mind, the smoke is only a minute long. And the reload is three minutes, guys. Um, or, or four minutes, sorry. Uh, this reload on this smoke is absolutely crazy. Uh, so, to be honest, having that fourth, third one, uh, I mean... I, am, I didn't use it when I did have it on fully packed. I never got to use it once. So that's up to you. Very average repair times. But I could see the argument, again, like I said, about having another smoke. For the specs, 34,000 health, but it's a Suzuya. Any, or any Japanese cruiser, if you get hit in the Citadel or get hit at all, they're basically going to be Citadel. So you got to be careful on this ship. Um, and that's just what it is. Artillery... You have 15 155s. These are, like I said, again, Suzuya ones. Reload at 7.6, which is absolutely crazy when you think about the fire chance on this thing. You have 15 guns that reload every 7 seconds with a 19% fire chance. This thing is going to be absolutely bonkers down the road for me, and I will explain why here in a second. For your torpedoes, you do have two on each side. They have the back-facing torpedo angles. And honestly, I know a lot of people don't like the torpedo angles on Japanese, but because a lot of times in these ships you're kiting away, they do have, have a tendency to be very handy. Uh, the torps on here on Suzuya, though, are not great. They have a terrible detection range at 17 for how slow they are. So people have a half an hour to catch these. Okay. You could throw them out randomly. Um, like the Italian cruiser torps. But these ones are spotted at significantly longer ranges. And people have a ton of room to actually dodge them. I have a tendency to use them close in and wreck battleships. If they try to sneak up on me. Or on an island or charge. They work really well for that. Or when you're kiting away. Good battleships, you know, have a harder time dodging. A8 offense, this might as well say zero here, guys. You have 40 out at 5 kilometers. It's really 
the biggest number there. And I think in the my match, we'll have to look here in a second, but I think the best match I have is only like one or two. To, I don't have that many planes shot down in this thing. I can assure you that. <laughs> if you get focused by a carrier, it's rough. Um, maneuverability, pretty decent for the most part. Really good rudder shift, that feels anyway when you're in it, just like Suzuya. You can dodge if you need to with this thing pretty well. Uh, detection, 10-6, very normal. Now, this is the part where you guys are going to freaking laugh. 29% win rate. Does it mean the ship's bad? No. In all my time playing this game, today it was the... Hands down, the worst matchmaking for teammates I've had. It's not rip on my teammates. It happens, okay? But awful. I've never had it even close to as bad as today. Not even a little bit. Uh, as you can see here, 29%. I had one match, I think, that lasted more than 10 and a half minutes out of them 14. And I've survived over half of them, including losing. So that tells you I... Did pretty well in this ship. In fact, I do well in Suzuya. Okay, in Suzuya. I wouldn't say well. Um, but uh, just to put it in perspective, I have like a 60% win rate in Suzuya with the same exact damage numbers. Or pretty close. Let me look here. Just to make sure I ain't lying to you. Yeah, about 60%. And I actually have... I'm averaging less in Suzuya. So you can say it's not... A me thing, it's a update thing. <laughs> when an update comes out, this is a bound to happen, okay? Biggest thing is aircraft destroyed, eight. That's a, your AA is not great. In fact, two of the times I died, I do remember getting Death Strike twice by two Bismarcks, which I cannot even fathom. <laughs> uh, but it was my fault because I thought they were Bismarcks. Not going to have to worry too much. Um, and that's on me. Uh, but uh, the other two uh, was aircraft carriers. Um, I believe one was German and just kind of did a number on me, obviously, with Citadels. The aircraft carriers are rough um, in this. Uh, but average damage, 82,000. Uh, about average for me, but not crazy. XP, though, you can see 1,500 XP in short matches. With a terrible losing record, that's actually pretty decent for the most part. These matches have been over really quick. Even my good matches, with, with, a couple of them had withers. Uh, they were over, I, I think, every match but one was done in ten and a half minutes. And when I, when I say this has been a rough day, right? You can see here, look at this. It's rough. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, and just to show, too, uh, the AP, if you use it like I did the last match, uh, you can see here uh, one that was over right away again. Um, but nine Citadels with it. Okay, so super great. Obviously, you can see, too, no t not much help, man, in this ship. And if you're not in a division, you cannot carry in this ship, right? So... Uh, again, you can see here, just every time, you know, I was first or second in every one of these. So it's not the ship, guys. I want to be very clear up, clear on that. Just terrible matchmaking, okay? So um, we're going to go ahead now and take a look at the armor, which should be very easy because it is Suzuya. Um, you have a 25 millimeter bow, meaning... 15 or anything over 14 inches will um you, you you can't bow tank okay it will overmatch you at over 14 um and the, here's this a obnoxiously big citadel it is suzuya you don't want to get you don't want to get hit if you don't need to in this ship i will say this is an absolute fun ship to play though guys as we start the match, it's disclaimer time. This is a beginner's video meant to help people new to the ship or new to the game. This is not meant for professional gamers that know everything there is to know about everything in the universe. There are multiple ways to play and build this ship. And I am an above average player. Not the world's best. I make mistakes. You may see one in this match. 
Uh, you didn't come here for pronunciations. I'm as good as anybody at slaughtering beautiful languages all the time. And with that out of the way, let's hop into the match here. Uh, we are spawning on uh, the uh, C and uh, the C D side here. We're going to go ahead and push up a little bit, try to get ourselves in a good position. Now, you could throw torps out right away. You can see I'm looking at the torp angles for you guys wondering. Um, I throw them out a lot in the beginning, and then I kind of hold on to them later because they can be kind of handier. Uh, in, in a kiting fashion or a defense mechanism type of way because you, at 1.7 kilometers and only 50 knots, these things are slow and everybody can get out of the way except for a battleship. So with that being said, you're going to see my issues um, with matchmaking today. Here's a Kagero with amazing detection, uh, throwing his torps out at full range and... Uh, He's going to go hide behind mountains. Yep, that's kind of been the day today. I thought maybe he was a new player, but uh, he didn't respond, so I assumed he was not playing. So just let him be. Um, and anyway, so we do see the Bismarck here. We're going to take some shots at Bismarck. Now, this is going to show you a lot about this ship and a lot of things. A lot. It's a good match for that, in fact, too, because you're going to see me a little bit in the beginning here. I play a lot closer normally. I just wouldn't recommend that for a lot of people. Be, um, but I know I do normally play more aggressive, but this is a better showcase of how to play it. We're going to go ahead, and uh, you can see me uh, kind of miss the... Um, Bismarck a little bit at range. The closer you get with these light cruisers, the better you're going to be. Now George is obviously in our uh, little area of being able to murder him, so we're going to murder him. And this thing absolutely starts fires, guys. If, if uh, you're going to see here, uh, we get terrible luck with perma fires on this match. You can see I've been, you know, I'm trying to switch targets the best I can. Uh, and we're going to get some just awful luck with permafires in this match. Had we have done this, this would have actually been a great game. Because you're going to see how many people I did help get rid of. And you're going to see that, oh yeah, if he had permafires, this would have been a pretty darn good game. So, Because we're not going to get a wither in this. And in most Japanese cruisers, withers are real easy to come by. Including this one. I've had already had a few in it. Just haven't had any long matches really in this thing. So I didn't expect to get spotted there. Um, so uh, now that we know we're spotted, we know there's somebody that can see us kind of in that gap to our left. So that's what I'm assuming anyway. And we are going to go ahead and work on moving up because clearly our... Uh, we're not going to get a ton of spotting. So thanks to my battleship up here, though, he does realize we're not getting spotting and then moves in. Now, that's one thing I would say about this, guys, is is if you don't play in divisions like I don't, um, you can have very frustrating moments in this ship, okay? And there's not a whole lot you can do. I, I do try to spot with my face sometimes, but it doesn't work, you know? Um... This is not a ship you can get away with. If you're in a division, this thing can absolutely carry a team. You can just wreck everything if you have amazing amounts of spotting. So as you can see, we don't have any here. Um, and you can see, I looked at the map here, and uh, we can see uh, they are moving away. I'm going to realize that here in a second, because my map awareness isn't always amazing. Um but we do have the Monarch to shoot at. And this thing has got some crazy distance to it. Now, would I recommend shooting completely at distance all the time in it? No. Just don't get yourself too aggressive in the, in, inside. You can see Michelangelo is there. That's the ship that's been kind of holding me back from moving in. But he's running away. You're actually going to see me here in a second realize, oh, the team is bailing. So I'm going to start pushing up. But... Again, our <laughs> destroyer was behind the mountains, uh, but our thankfully our dis or our battleship buddy is, was up spotting. So clearly, first five minutes not what you'd want out of a match. But you can see he sees a smoke. You can see we have a 
pretty hefty timer we had afterward and we're gonna just keep moving in so i actually don't end up using the smokes a terrible amount on this ship i think i've only used two like twice or three times in the 14 matches this morning um i have a tendency just to put myself not in terrible positions for the most part as you can see hipper is going to be here um, and you guys are going to see me switch instantly to AP on a broadside target, right? He, I did notice he's shooting HE, so I'm not super worried about getting hit by this guy. We still have a ton of health, and, uh, you know, he's got HE loaded, right? So he's probably not going to do too much, and uh, we are going to go ahead because we did, uh, we did get a fire at first, but I think the... St. Louis, I believe, gets the other fire on him. Um, and now St. Louis has got the perma fire, I do believe. St. Louis actually uh, has a good game in here. Or St. Louis has a good game in here as well. Um, but I, you can see I got pretty unlucky on my perma fires, though. Um, didn't really have much perma fire damage in this match. But anyway, you can see it's still a close game. We got to be careful, but we do need to push up to help and while most people think crossfires are only for when you're shooting ap for citadels it also makes it a lot easier to hit ships uh when you're shooting he when they're completely broadside to you too or uh even at distance it does help so getting more shells on targets always not a bad thing but this ship in general is i really like it down the road i'm gonna have some pretty incredible games on this i can assure you of that now this morning did i not not particular this is a good match to showcase it but the ship you can see i'm using island cover now why am i not charging in at full speed here guys uh, and why am i slowing and using island cover we could still lose this match and actually you're gonna see our team try to um our i believe yeah, St. Louis and me are pretty, uh, looks like we're pretty decent on this one and paying attention and, and not getting overly aggressive. We're both using our spotting. But anyway, we're going to move up. And now we do have spotting again. So I want to say thanks. You can see we've had a rough uh, first, what, eight minutes to the match. We haven't really done a ton, but we've done a little bit here. But our battleship has been trying to spot, and now our destroyer is actually starting to spot for us. And then you're going to see we're going to do significantly better here. Uh, so we're going to keep moving up, and we're going to use this island up here. And uh, our destroyer just did smoke, so I'm not too worried about getting spotted. Right now I'm not the main focus. So, again, you can, in this ship, another good thing about this ship is kiting. You can completely kite with this thing. Um, especially with the torpedoes, the rear-facing torpedoes. But, uh, again, haven't needed to use this last smoke. We're just going to keep moving up. But we want to keep our distance. And, like I said, we're winning this match, but it's really close, right? We have caps, but ship-wise, it's really close. If we, if our team ends up being dumb here, we could lose this match entirely. I've seen worse matches turn the other way. But... This is where you're going to kind of see Kansas. We're going to absolutely pummel Kansas with HE. And I'm not even seeing fires, but you can look here in the last six minutes. We have only six fires. We've been really unlucky to this point with fires because obviously we've had other people shooting HE over here uh, on our side. But you're going to see this thing kind of get let loose a little bit here. Um, we can see we're going to start taking shots at... Uh, Kansas and a Michelangelo. You'll see me do this a lot where I won't just pick one target. I kind of keep everything going here. Uh, either to try to take focus off of teammates. We get another assist on that Michelangelo. Uh, you know, to keep kind of help on with keeping focus off of teammates. I feel we'll try to do that if I can. I know I'm bad enough, but they'll try to chase me down. Um, but you can see... Uh, our teammate does go down so we gotta be super careful and uh, but you can see we we did chunk kansas quite a bit um and you can see on if you hit the belt 
is we get our helping hand, which was my first ever one of these, by the way. So them are brand new today. Um, for, what is that, five assists. Um, but we're going to go ahead and keep throwing down range. But you can see a lot of these shatter on, um, on battleships. That's another reason I didn't want to get uh, too close either, is that you can get death struck in this. But... What it does do, as you can see, this is another reason I wanted to show this video. You can see a lot of shatters. These are small caliber. They're 155s. So they're even um, small for a kind of a light cruiser. But um, you get they're going to shatter a lot unless you're getting good superstructure shots. Obviously, I don't have the best shots at 16 or 17 kilometers. But again, really close right now. I don't want to lose this match, right? So... I'd rather be safe than sorry, and this is a good way to play the ship, to stay at range, use island cover, um, if you have the chance to be aggressive, do it, but if it doesn't come up, don't don't waste everything you got, because we did get our first kill finally, but we're going to go ahead and push up on the days and now obviously we know that, this, that last the cruiser was last spotted, nowhere near us on the other side and uh, we can help take out days in here uh, but again for fire chances man if you get in a, a room uh, i've had two fun matches the other match i was gonna not or i was gonna actually show because it was just cool uh was a five destroyer match where even though i didn't have that much damage i think it was only like 60 or 70,000. We did absolutely wreck destroyers with this thing. I was really aggressive. There's no battleship, so it was just cruisers. A um, lot of fun. Uh, but as you can see, we did lose a teammate there. We're going to move up. Obviously, it looks like, because I think St. Louis has a high, St. Louis had a high caliber, so I'm thinking, okay, this guy probably knows what to do. And our destroyer probably has shown he hasn't. So, again, I adjust to my teammates. I'm going to put myself in a position to uh, help take out Chappie uh, because he's probably going to take out our Destroyer, right? I mean, you could, based off what we know about our Destroyer player, this is not a rip on him. He might be new. So, I stay undetected for a second here. Reason is, is get some defensive torps out in case he charges us. And I want to get turned around because I can be in a much better position if I'm the one kiting away here. He doesn't have much many options on where to go, so we're going to start lighting him up. And you're going to see this thing actually do a little bit of damage now. Um, as you're going to see, we're going to get full pens and then these salvos are going to be pretty nice for the most part. And again, when I get the chance, you're going to see me switch over to HE, another 7,000 on that Savo, and you're going to see me on a Chappie, which has really good, um, really good DPM. You're going to see this thing do a significant amount of damage really quick. We're going to get rid of him pretty fast. So I do, like I said, that one Savo of AP, not super amazing. He's shooting HE, so I'm not too worried about him. Just going to make sure he doesn't have get AP loaded. But again, this ship as a whole, a lot of fun, guys. I can't wait. You know, I get the right match. This thing is going to really, with these fire chances, you're going to... Um, while I don't care about damage, this is going to be a fun one because it's probably I'm going to have a match here pretty soon, quickly, with... You're like 250k with this fire starting. It's so crazy. It's going to be the new wither machine for me. As you see, we do finish him off with AP. Getting six assists in this match. To be fair, they just came out today, so I don't know how well good that is. But that seems okay. And we're going to have ourselves a decent little game with a 2800 base game. And St. Louis having a decent game as well. Having... Uh, a lot of fun winning this match, most importantly, and helping our team. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one.